Well, on matters education, school programs are slowly grinding to a halt due to the delayed release of free primary education capitation funds. This is according to primary school heads who say, despite endless promises by the government since the start of second term, they are yet to receive the funds with just a few weeks to the end of the term. The Kenya National Union of Teachers has called on the government to resolve the impasse, underscoring the need for smooth school operations. Here's Anne Musungu with a detailed report. The 2024 academic calendar, which is just midway, has been a challenging one so far. This is due to floods, strikes and anti-tax protests which have all seen second term take a knock. <laughs> However, the situation does not end there. Primary schools are grappling with the delayed release of free primary education capitation funds. According to Johnson Zuka, the chairperson of the Primary School Heads Association, the government is yet to meet its end of the bargain despite endless promises since the start of second term and this could soon see the operation grinds to a halt. What was released was not released in time. And what was released last month was again a portion of what the schools are expecting to receive. We are kindly requesting those who are responsible in the ministry to assist us, to assist the head of institutions by facilitating these funds to the school accounts so that the schools are run as we are expecting. In the FPE capitation funding model, the disbursement of funds to schools is done in three phases to ensure proper functioning. The schools get 50% in first term, 30% in second term, and 20% in third term. <laughs> Amid the delays, Capture National Treasurer Kennedy Kieva has called for comprehensive student inclusion to address gaps in the current system which, he says, leaves out some learners. Capitation never reached the schools because it was claimed that they were missing from the, 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 the NEMIS. The Kenya National Union of Teachers has also weighed in on the delayed release of capitation funds, saying school administrators are facing difficulties in managing educational institutions. NAT Secretary General Collins Oyu has faulted the government for the release and called for prompt disbursement of funds. Our school heads and generally management of primary schools is held and even secondary schools, if it comes late, as it has come, you, you, don't, you don't say that uh, it has benefited them much. The struggle of a head teacher or a head of institution or principal is how to perfectly manage the school from funding. And Musungu KT News, Nairobi. Thank you, Anmusungu. Education is very integral and so is tourism. And the 2024 Tourism Professional Association National Summit in Kisumu enters its 